all of my own cabinetry for the tiny house and so to see whether I'm capable of doing this I decided to make a composting toilet box as a test. I figured if I can make a toilet box then maybe I can build other cabinets too. I've designed my toilet box to be as small as possible so that it can slide in and out of the bathroom cabinet. If you're not sure how a basic composting toilet works here's a quick summary. There's a box with a lid and a seat and underneath that is a bucket and that's basically the system. You use it the same as a normal toilet. Everything goes in, including toilet paper, but instead of flushing, you cover everything with a generous amount of organic cover material, like mulch, sawdust, or cocoa peat. And as long as you use enough cover material to keep everything dry, then there are no odours. And when the bucket gets full, you just empty it into a larger compost bin outside, and within six months, the compost is ready to use in the garden. Most toilets like this have a hinge top to get the bucket out, but a hinge requires a deeper box, and if I'd done that, it would have stuck out of the cabinet too much. So in my design, the whole top of the box lifts off, and that's what the handles are for. I had some leftover 18mm poplar plywood from another project, so I cut these into three different sizes. Two at 420 by 380 two at 370 by 370 and two at 370 by 460 I also bought a bucket, some caster wheels, a toilet seat, some handles, and found some little strips of timber with a beveled edge, and I cut two at 330 and two at 420 mils, both on a 45 degree angle at the ends. First I cut all the plywood, and I did a dry fit to make sure that all the measurements were right. Next I sanded it all down with 180 grit sandpaper, then I measured and marked where to put the pull handles. I chiseled out the recess for the handles, but it would have been easier and tidier with a router, so if you've got one I'd recommend doing that. Next I measured where the hole for the bucket needed to be on the lid. I drilled a pilot hole and then cut it out with a jigsaw. I sanded the rough edges so it would be ready for painting. I decided to do paint on the top and the bottom of the box and just oil the front, back and sides as the grain in the plywood was actually really nice. I added three coats of the oil, four coats of the paint and made sure to sand down between each coat. After the sides of the box had been oiled, I mounted the handles. I chose recessed ones so that it wouldn't get in the way or take up unnecessary space. Next I mounted the wheels. The screws that I had on hand were a few millimetres too long and they were going to poke through the ply. So I used some offcuts of 4mm plywood to use as packers so that I could still use those screws. I used biscuit joints to assemble the box so I marked out where the biscuits needed to go and then cut the holes before gluing it all together. Then I glued the four strips of timber to the base of the box. I used these little corner jigs to make sure that the box was going to fit perfectly onto the base. I was going to use a finishing nail too, but they didn't seem to need it. The last thing to do was to drill holes and attach the seat. So there you go. I did end up changing the caster wheels to these IKEA ones with a locking mechanism. But to be honest, they weren't much different. They didn't lock that well and I'm still on the hunt for a good set of lockable wheels. So comment down below if you can recommend some available in New Zealand. 